Hi, this is JP from Not Allowed Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck for that investigator, and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. So, uh, this time our unlucky investigator is. Let's see. Uh. It is Daisy, so we are uh, back to the core set investigator, so uh, another seeker into the series, so uh, let's just hop over to ArkhamCDB.com and build the deck for Daisy. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and here is Daisy Walker, so let's just build the Chaos deck for Daisy and see what we get. Okay, well, two copies of Cryptic Grimoire. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are not doing this, so I'm just using this for the symbol on the card. And hello, Chalice. Not that good. Magnifying glass. Well, helps us to investigate. Occult lexicon. Well, at least this gives us uh, uh, some way to fight the enemies. Ritual Candles, mm, not that good. Sword Cane, well this helps us to fight the enemies or evade them, so I think that's okay. But our willpower is not that high, so maybe this doesn't matter. Uh, then we have one copy of Grim Enhancing Serum. Talisman of Protection, okay. Uh, Tooth of Eskly, uh, well, could be useful. Uh, allies, we have ally, uh, Alyssa Graham, which is good because uh, she will boost our intellect. Uh, David Renfield, okay. Um, Jeremiah Kirby, well, this is good. And uh, one research librarian, or uh, correct me, two, two copies of that. So, uh, Research Librarian is actually really good, because that way we can find the Occult Lexicon, which we can use with Daisy's ability. So that's a good synergy card. Uh, then we have Straight Solutions, <laughs> Summon, Servitor, uh, okay. Uh, Astounding Revelation, times one, that's bad. Uh, barricade, could be good. Connect the dots, um, could be okay. Eldritch Inspiration, Emergency Cash. Logical Reasoning, Map of the Area, uh, Meditative Stern, uh, uh, Trance, well, helps us to heal damage or horror. If we have something in our arcane slots, which we don't have that much, we only have a couple of cards that go there. Uh, Occult Invocation, that's good, helps us to fight. Uh, read the Signs, really good to get double. Um, resources, uh, not resources, but clues. Uh, shortcut, always good. Uncage the soul. Uh, we don't have that many spells, so that is pretty useless. Uh, one copy of True Understanding, so not that good. And our weakness will be. Let's see what we got. We got Reckless. Okay, well, that's not that bad. Uh, well, um, that is the daisy deck, so next up uh, I will build the deck and we can get started. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start and uh, I have my daisy deck built here and the scenario is set up. So, uh, let's just draw our opening hand and see what we can do. So, one, two, three, four, five. And we get uh, Barricade, Cryptic Grimoire, Uncased the Soul, Tooth of Estly, and Eldritch Inspiration. So, I am only keeping the Tooth of Estly and drawing more, four more cards. We get Map the Area, Terma Kirby, Research Library, and Summon Servitor. Uh, to the Estly. Okay, well that's a much better hand. I'm immediately going to play the Research Librarian to draw the Occult Lexicon and play that. Uh, 
Okay, so a quick shuffle to our deck before we start. So first action will be to play the Research Librarian. And we will replace that with Jeremiah Kirby later. So uh, after Research Librarian, enter space, search your deck for a tome asset and add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. And I am looking for the Occult Lexicon. So that will be our second action to play the Occult Lexicon down. So we get one of these in hand and shuffle these two into our deck. Last action we will just investigate here. So at least we are set up to investigate uh, without anything and uh, now with the Occult Lexicon we have a chance to do some damage to enemies. Okay. Last action, uh, we will investigate 5 versus 2, not committing anything. Uh, 0, we'll grab this clue and that is our first turn, so that is that round. Uh, we ready up, we draw another blood right and get the resource, so now uh, we spent 2, so we have 2 resources. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, one of six first encounter card of the game is Grip Chill. Well, we can just uh, fail this and get rid, rid of the Research Librarian, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let's see, 3 versus 4, 0, uh, we'll just discard the Research Librarian. Uh, he did his job already. Okay, first we will move to Rivertown. One clue here, we'll investigate here. I'm investigating 5 versus 1. Another 0. Well, I'm sure I built the Chaos deck correctly, but we are hitting all the zeros. Uh, then we'll move into the graveyard. I think uh, Daisy's plan is just to get clues and uh, uh, from the victory point locations, then spawn the cultist and see which cultist the, she can defeat. So we are testing uh, 3 vs 3 for this uh, willpower test here. And uh, I'm committing the some summon servitor. So 4 vs 3. Uh, skull is ax axis the highest number of uh, do monk cultist in play, so we pass, so we don't take any more. And uh, that's our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We get reckless, so commit only to a skill that you are performing of any type that has no other cards committed to it. Other cards cannot be committed to this skill test. If this test fails, return this skill uh, to your hand forced if reckless is in your hand at the end of your turn. Read Feel it and lose two resources. So that this is actually a good location to get rid of the reckless. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is Wizard of the Order. Okay, so this guy is annoying, but I think we can just kill it off with the occult lexicon next round. I'll put it on there and it gains a doom. So uh, it's in Rivertown, so we can just investigate here. So I'm uh, committing Reckless, so... Um, so it doesn't give a negative uh, modifier. So we are testing 5 versus 1. Elder sign, we have one tome, so it is uh, we succeed, this goes away, and we draw one card because we have a tome, and it is Alisa Graham. Okay, that's good. Second action, we'll investigate again. Minus three, uh, we pass, so we grab this two. And what will we do with our last action? Um, I think we could play the Tooth of Estli. 
or save up to play. Yeah, I'm just uh, taking a card. So Crypt Grimoire, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards, and that is our turn. Uh, no enemy actions will go to upkeep. We draw Daisy's tote bag and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is Obscuring Fog. Well, that's great. It just fizzles because we already cleared the clue from here. This guy gets one Doom. Uh, we'll move. Uh, first action, we'll play Jeremiah Kirby. And I forgot to check. So I'm saying uh, uh, odd. So we check one, two, three, four, five cards and pick, uh, draw all the odd cards. So one, two, three. That was a good, good Jeremiah. Now we have an intellect of six, which is really good for investigating. Doing a shuffle to the deck, and we are ready to continue. Second action, we'll move here. Uh, last action, we will play Occult Flex. Uh, the blood right from occult lexicon and I will draw two cards and I will discard what cards do I really do not need one and two no let's just get rid of the cryptic grimoires they are useless. Uh, well, they are wild, so I'm just uh, keeping one and discarding that. So we deal two damage. Uh, damn. Oh, uh, yeah, we need resources to deal the damage. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, uh, let's back up. I forgot that resource uh, thing. So we'll just mulligan here. So uh, I drew. Yeah, uh, sorry, sorry about this. Um, I drew this, this, and this. So we'll t shuffle those back. So we still have four resources and uh, one action left. Yeah, uh, forgot I need resources to actually deal the damage. So I'm still discarding these two. So we deal two damage to this guy and it is defeated. So we get more time. Okay, and. Uh, Last action, we'll move. Uh, we'll go to the uh, Miskatonic University. So, two clues here, throughout of four. So, we moved, fought, and moved. Okay. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw. David Renfield and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. Encounter card for this round is Obscuring Fog. Well, that sucks. But uh, not the worst. So let's see. I think I will. Get a resource for my first action. Second action, play Jeremiah Kirby. And now I will uh, again say odds one, two, three, four, five. We get.
get uh, two cards and these are shuffled back. Well, um, we are still investigating six versus six here, so I need to commit a bunch of cards to get rid of this obscuring fog here. The last action we are investigating, and I am committing what this, this. Uh, let's get rid of the tote bag. So we are up by four. So ten versus six. Minus one. We grab a clue. We also get rid of this. And that is our turn. No enemies. We'll go to upkeep. We draw Dreaming Hat and Serum and get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom. We are uh, next round getting the Mask Hunter uh, encounter card for this round is an Acolyte. We'll put Acolyte to the north, north side because we can just defeat it with the occult or the blood right. First action we are investigating six versus four. Actually, I'm a uh, I'm, I'm saving that. So I'm committing one cryptic grimoire to the test. So seven versus four. It is a skull, it is minus one, but we still get the clue. We have six clues, so we could start getting a cultist out soon. But uh, first we move, move to north side. There are two clues here and one victory point, so we probably want to clear this. So we get this acolyte, and I am doing blood right, draw two. So I discard that one and deal one damage to this guy, so that guy is defeated. And again, uh, this action does not provoke attacks of opportunity, so still have one charge left for the occult. Oh yeah, and that's a free action actually. I forgot that uh, we can... Well, it's not because it's not on a tome asset. Yeah, so forget about that. Uh, so investigate, move and do that action. So that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw sword came and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are a doom, so the agenda advances, so we are getting mass counter out this round. So the mass counter, as usual, four fights, six health, and two evades, spawn and gates with prey, prey most clues, hunter. Uh, the mass hunter gets plus two health per investigator. So six. while you are engaged with mass hunter, you cannot discover or spend clues. So we need to evade this guy somehow. So this round, I think I am just trying to evade you by using some of these cards. So now I'm three versus two. I'll go four versus. So next round I can just sword chain. So four versus two. It is a zero, so we evade. So the mask hunter is evaded. Oh yeah, the token is already there. Uh, second action is investigate six versus three. Auto fail. Well, we'll try again. Six versus three. Minus three. We'll grab one clue. No enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We draw barricade and gain a resource. And this guy re engages us. So, yeah. And that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a doom. One of eight encounter card for this round is Hunting Shadow. Uh, uh, we could spend one of our clues or 
No. We'll just take the damage. One here, one here. Okay, that's that. And we, first action, will play the sword chain. And uh, we can trigger its ability immediately. So... I am evading with my willpower. So 3 versus 2, I'll go... 4 versus 2, 5 versus 2. Zero, the mass counter is evaded. Okay, second action. We will investigate, and I am investigating uh, three versus uh, six versus three. Plus one, we will grab this last clue here. Last action, we will move to downtown. So, two clues and. Uh, there's a victory point, so we will try to get this cleared before we move out. Enemy phase, nothing happens. Upkeep, this guy ready is with your card. Meditative stand, uh, trance, and we get a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is Ghoul Priest. So the Ghoul Priest spawns at your house in this scenario, so that was a lucky break. We don't have to deal with the ghoul priest immediately. First action will be to investigate uh, 6 versus 4. I will actually, as a fast action, no, I, I would lose the occult lexicon. So I'm committing this to the test. So we are 7 versus 4. Zero. We'll investigate again, and I will play the barric uh, use the barricade. So committing it, uh, we are seven versus four again. It is another zero. Okay. Well, I think that's all of the victory point locations. Last action, we'll move to East Town. And enemy phase, this guy moves here, and this guy moves here, so we are between a rock and a hard place here. And we will go to upkeep, we draw a card and gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We had another doom, 3 of 8, and counter card is hunting shadow. Uh, oh yeah, there's one clue here. Okay, well, um, do I want to take the damage or spend one clue? I'll spend the clue. We are not getting all of the cultists either way, so... Okay, um... I think we'll run past the ghoul priest. No. Uh, or should we run past the mass counter? I'll draw a card. Hopefully it's something useful. No. Okay, well, uh, this is a bit risky, <clears throat> but we'll move back to downtown. Engage the mass counter. And we will evade with the sword cane. And I'll commit this to the test, so we are evading uh, with our real power 4 versus 2. It is another 0, so the mass counter is evaded. Enemy phase, uh, the ghoul priest hunts here, upkeep, this guy readies, engages us again. We draw talisman of protection. Nice, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. 4 of 8 encounter card for this round is Hunting Night Count. Well, uh, this sucks a bit, but we'll see if we can still uh, get, 
get away from all of these enemies. If not, we probably need to start thinking of uh, resigning. So we first will evade the Mask Hunter, and I'm using the Sword Cane, so I'm evading uh, three versus four versus two. It is a plus one, so that's evaded. Second action, we are just evading with our agility. So uh, we are evading uh, two versus one, and uh, negatives are doubled. Okay, it is a skull, so that is zero. So we evade this guy. Also, that's really good. We get a proper murder ball going ne for next run. So last action, I will move to north side. Uh, the Ghoul Priest hunts here, upkeep, we ready these guys, draw a card, we get Occult Invocation and gain a resource. So now we have a way to fight, so that's good, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, and Counter Corp to this round is Grip Chill, okay. I think the Occult Lexicon can go if we fail. 3 vs. Uh, 4 tablet is minus 3 if you fail to place one of your clues onto your location. Well, that sucks. And we also lose the occult lexicon, which means uh, we remove the blood rights from our deck. One is still in the deck, so we'll have to search. There it is. Okay. Well, that that wasn't that bad. Uh, first action, we will investigate here, and I'm investigating six versus three. It is a zero. We'll grab this clue again. We will move over here, and last action, we'll spend two clues to reveal a cultist. Uh, we get Herman Collins, which spawns in the graveyard, so that is one we can defeat, but we'll see in next round. Uh, enemy face, these enemies hunt over here. Upkeep. We get Uncats, the soul, and one resource, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so we have two more turns. If we don't get any doom in play on wings of darkness so i think i'm just failing this one so three versus four minus three we fail we move here that's okay by my uh by me and uh, we take one damage and one four first action we will uh, reveal a cultist peter warren damn we could have defeated Peter, but, well, la uh, then I will move to the graveyard, we'll test the willpower, uh, I am testing uh, 3 vs 3, minus 1, we'll take 2 horror. Last action, I will dump my hand, 1, 2, uh, I'll dump these 4 cards to defeat Herman Collins. Okay, and uh, enemy face, these guys hunt here. Upkeep, we draw, read the signs, and gain a resource. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I think uh, this is the last round of the game, so we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and counter card is locked door, so it goes here, so that doesn't affect our game. Uh, first action, we will spend two clues 
spawn a cultist. We get Victor Devro. No time to go get there. Uh, we will move here and resign. So we drop uh, the rest of our clues here. And that is that. So that went pretty well. So uh, we got all the location victory points so far, plus one cultist into the victory display, which is five, which is, I think, really good with this uh, chaos deck. So uh, Daisy is a really, really good se seeker uh, with the five intellect. So you don't really need cards to get clues in this scenario, just some to commit or some static buff like Jeremiah or something. Uh, then uh, some fighting uh, cards to deal with the low health cultist and just try to run away from everything else. So yeah, I think that went pretty well. So hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.